445. We're together with meteorologist Daniel McFarlane. And Daniel, we are just talking about that rain because we got quite a bit this morning. Yeah, we really do. And this is the first time in a while we've actually had this much rain to talk about on the radar, Robbie. And it's even heavy in some places, which is going to be helping us out quite a bit. Now, if you're in the north side of Tucson, that's where most of it's happening right now. And it's going to be staying about this heavy for the next hour and a half at least. But if you're on the south side or east side, don't worry. It is going to be coming your way too. It's just not too heavy just yet. Now, I do want to point out Oro Valley. So you just recently went through a whole lot of heavier rain. Looks like that's one spot where it's going to start to lighten up. Another spot of interest is that there's a whole lot of heavy rain making its way onto the Catalina Mountains right now, which is going to be snow instead of rain. So that's something we're going to check up on when that sun comes up. We can start to see those cameras to kind of tell how much snow has fallen in that area so far. Now, the system is very cold and you can kind of tell that with all the snow that's produced around spots like Albuquerque and over there near Colorado as well. Even closer towards Phoenix, of course, in the Colorado Plateau right there, they're beginning to see some of that snow pushing in. But for Tucson, it looks like we're the spot with the heaviest rain. But the biggest takeaway I have from this system as a whole is not really going to be the rain. It's actually going to be the cold air that's following this up. So what we're going to be having here is again the rain lasting up until about noon or so. After that, temperatures are not going to get much warmer than the lower 60s. So if you're waiting on those temperatures to get back to 70s for this afternoon, keep waiting because it's not going to be happening. Instead, it's just going to be pretty chilly out there. Now, I do want to show you the rain tracker briefly because there's a few spots that we're already starting to see some values from. You see some lighter greens right there. That does indicate some spots over a quarter of an inch of rain. But for just about everyone, when this system wraps on up, it's going to be stopping at a quarter of an inch of rain before it eventually does die on average. Out. Now here you can see that rain continuing to push through southern Arizona. The one spot I think that might get unlucky with this system is you down in Douglas. So I do think it's going to be losing a lot of strength. Looks pretty good in Tucson right now, but if you're down there in southern Cochise County, particularly over towards the east, I don't really see a ton of rain making it towards your area for today. So unfortunately, you have to wait for the next one. But keep in mind, Douglas is typically one of the luckier spots when it comes to monsoon. So I think it's Tucson's turn for one out there. Now, if you're wondering about the snow, I do think the summit's going to be between three and seven inches. Summer Haven, probably closer towards that two inch mark at this point in time with some of those higher values, I think being closer towards the top of the mountain, of course. If you're waiting for the next rain chance after today, I'm thinking next Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be days to watch out for. Warmest temperature over the next seven days, Probably only going to be stopping around 76 degrees, so certainly staying on the cooler side. That was weather. Let's go ahead and check out traffic real quick before you get.